we're going to turn the smoke hollow into a brick oven to cook some pizza. Uh, on a hickory fire, it's going to be really tasty. We're going to do a couple of them. I've actually got a cheese pizza on there right now to figure out uh, you know, how everything was going to work. Uh, but right now we're going to get ready for uh, a white pizza or a nice summertime pizza. Uh, some tomato, basil, garlic, olive oil. Uh, no pizza sauce on this one. The next one will though. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So come on in Jason. Let's zoom in on this pizza here and see how we're going to. So here we go. We're going to get the uh, white pizza going first. A little bit of olive oil. Sprinkle this on. And then uh, spread it over liberally. And I'll tell you, these uh, pizza doughs, one would think, are pretty easy to form. But whoever does this for a living, I give them some major props because this thing was kicking my butt for a long time to get, uh, get to shape. A little bit more over here. There we go. Okay. And we'll spread this out. Oh, that's going to look good. Okay, now to this, what we're going to add, a little bit of fresh minced garlic. I'm just going to spread this out, and then what I'm going to do is kind of smear it out with my hands. This is going to really fuse with the olive oil and get some really good garlic flavor throughout. There we go. Okay, then some shredded basil. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. A little bit over here. Okay, there we go. Now I shredded this up to eliminate the stems, just like the leaves. And uh, then we're going to add some tomato and mozzarella, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the basil on there. Now I'm going to get some seasoning and uh, tomato and some fresh mozzarella. So Jason, come on in here. Take a look at this stuff. What I got here, some fresh garden tomatoes. These are delicious. Over here, got some uh, some more pink Himalayan salt. It's tasty. Some fresh ground pepper, some oregano, and over here, some freshly uh, uh, or fresh thick sliced mozzarella. This is all going to go on here. All right, so Jason, back up a little bit. Take a look over here. Perfect. All right, a little bit of salt. Okay. And a little bit. Yeah, how you doing there? Getting it? A little bit of pepper. This is going to be really tasty. Okay, now let's lay out some tomatoes. These are going to be nice, fresh tomatoes. Nothing uh, one of the uh, the guys are sub uh, subscribed to on YouTube. It's talking about a nice summer pizza, and couldn't get a better description. For this than that and that is a great summertime pizza here fresh tomato basil uh, mozzarella and uh let's squeeze that over get one more in there there we go all right stay on that kid and we'll move over to our mozzarella get some big fat slices on here just uh throw them on let's see bump a bump yeah, one more, one more. Yeah, smaller one. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, now top all that off. A little fresh oregano. Look at that. I'm gonna talk about a summertime pizza. There it is. So what we're gonna do? Start backing up a little bit, Jason. What we're gonna do is uh, I've got that cheese pizza that's ready to get off of the oven. When that comes off, we'll throw this one on and get the sausage and onions ready to go. Okay, before we get ready to throw this uh, tomato and basil pizza on the grill, let me show you what I've got going on here on the charcoal side. We've got a hickory fire going on. These are some nice uh, uh, brand new bricks that I've washed and uh, just a slight scrub and a rinse to uh, clean them up. What's very important though before you throw this pizza on, you can see a little remnants from the cheese that we just did. It's a little cornmeal. I'm going to throw some more on here. This is going to prevent the dough from sticking to the bricks. And uh, there we go. That's plenty there. That looked good. Uh, right now, 
This is running uh, in the neighborhood of 350 to uh, 400 degrees. And let's get ready to throw this on. You ready, Jess? Look at this here. Now this is a little tricky, so let's see if I can do this without embarrassing myself. That remains to be seen. got to get it started. Once you get it started, you can move it. Now we're going to let's get this off. going to situate this a little bit better on the bricks. There we go. There we go. Okay. And that'll work. That'll work. That's fine. It's only food. There we go. Now that is some summertime pizza right there. We're going to let that cook. Uh, we've got some sausage cooking over here on the gas side. Getting ready for our sausage, peppers and onions and blah 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 pizza. In the meantime, let's go ahead and let this cook and we'll be right back. Okay, so now while that uh, tomato and basil pizza is cooking, we're going to get going on the uh, the other pizza, the sausage and other stuff pizza. If you look in here real quick, I've already kind of given it a little coat of sauce. Uh, let's throw a little bit more on here. This pizza sauce I slaved over for days. Or you could use a store-bought pizza sauce. That'll work. Same thing with the dough. I mean, who cares, right? Now, Jess, come on over here. Uh, oh, right here, this is the sausage. That was uh, slow cooked on the gas side of the grill. That's going to be going on. And over here, uh, some ingredients left over from the, the other pizza. But we've got for this one, uh, some onions, some peppers, uh, shredded mozzarella, some shredded cheddar. These are sliced uh, shiitakes. They're going to be really good. Going on half the pizza because the wife does not like mushrooms. And then uh, a little bit more oregano. Oh, and uh, maybe a little bit of red pepper flakes to uh, kick it up a notch. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, let's start with the sausage. We're going to spread these out throughout the pizza. These are uh, uh, sweet sausage, local local sweet sausage actually. Use whatever kind of, actually you can put whatever you want on these pizzas, that's what's great about pizzas. Anything goes. Now, let's see, let's, um, one half, we're going to go, well, actually the whole pizza, we'll get some green peppers. Okay. And now we're going to move over to half of the pizza. My half, as I would like to call it. I'm going to go a little bit of onions. A little bit of these uh, shiitakes. I'm looking forward to these shiitakes. They're going to be good. This is going to be a little on the thicker side. I like to add my cheese uh, on top of everything, but that's you know certainly your preference, whatever you want to do. Now we're going to go ahead and throw some uh, mats on the whole thing. You can see how this is turning out. It's going to be really good. Once again, uh, use whatever kind of cheese you like. Uh, sometimes I like to throw some uh, Munster. Munster, I think, goes really good on pizza. It's got that same kind of texture, as well as uh, some Colby Jack. But here's a uh, little bit of cheddar. Just a little bit. Look at that, huh? Looking pretty good. And now, to top it all off, a little bit more oregano. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. There we go. And, uh, oh, well, we cannot forget. A little bit of, just a pinch on the man side. Well, maybe a big pinch. I like it hot. Some red pepper flakes. So now, 
as that is ready let's go take a look come on over here Jess let's see how this uh, tomato and basil pizza is doing you ready oh that's really close to getting pulled off here let me take a look at that stay on there Jess yep I think we're about ready to pull that off perfect good timing so let's go ahead and uh, Go ahead and pause this now. I'm going to pull this off, put the other one on. We'll be back in just a minute. Let's get this uh, next pizza up on the grill. The uh, tomato and basil is good to go. Let's move on over here. Check this out, Jess. Nice and slow. One thing I forgot to mention and forgot to do on the last pizza, but it'll make it slide off a lot easier, is put cornmeal on the cutting tray. Look at that. What a difference that makes. There we go. Look at that. If I had done that on the tomato and basil pizza, we would not have had the problems that we did. But that one came off just lovely. We do not want onions on the other half. Trust me. We don't want to receive that wrath. So let's, uh, there we go. Look at that. All right, Jess. What we've got here is once again this half of the pizza. We've got some sausage and green peppers, a couple different kinds of cheeses, mozzarella and cheddar. Over here, sausage, uh, green peppers, onions, some uh, sliced shiitakes, uh, and a little, uh, what do I got on here? Oh, yeah, some um, uh, crushed red pepper. And that'll be really nice. And oregano and everything. So let's go ahead. We're sitting at uh, yeah, about 400 degrees, 375. We're going to let this go, do its thing. And. Uh, We'll be pulling this off in about 30 minutes or so. See you then. <laughs> well, it's been about 10 minutes or so. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. Look at that. I had a little bit of the uh, big chunk of mozzarella left over, so I just kind of cubed it up and threw some extra pieces on there. But you can see how scrumptious that is looking. Uh, what we're going to be looking for is uh, some browning on the crust, which is what we've got. It's still, I can still feel it a little doughy as I pick it up. Um, but this is almost done. We're getting really close. Looking forward to it. Look at that. Drunken pizza. Alright, I think we're all set with pizza number three. The uh, sausage, onions, and everything else. So come on in, Jason. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay. Now that we're ready. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. We're ready to pull this off. Right back up a little bit, kid. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. That is a good looking pizza pie right there. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Drunken sailors, drunken pizza. Let's cut this up and see what it tastes like. You ready, Jason? You ready to try some of this? Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Drunken sailors, wood-fired, brick oven pizza. Delicious. I have to say I'm a bit partial to the tomato and basil uh, this time around. It's just such a refreshing summertime pizza. It's... Uh, yeah, you can't beat it. I highly recommend it. The oregano, uh, the tomatoes, is just delicious. Uh, the other slices as well were really good. Sausage, onions, peppers, can't beat it. Uh, Hickory Fire came through uh, like a charm as usual. Really get a good uh, smoky uh, flavor that just makes you wonder, uh, well, something different about this. It was absolutely delicious. So, if you like it, Hit the like button down below, and as always, have a nice day.